Alejandro, talk a little about coming back from your injury and just about how that's gone for you. Um, coming back from my injury has been a really, I'd say, good learning experience for me. I'd say strengthening experience for me coming back to the field. There's a lot of things I'd like to do, I want to do, you know, but physically I'm incapable of doing it right now. So coming back has been fun but also rough. Well, last season when you were there, you were actually one of the top fullbacks could be back. Talk about maybe some of the things that you want to accomplish over summer, heading into fall camp to be uh, maybe more of a productive, better overall, well-rounded fullback. Um, you know, coming in, I'm really excited for this offseason that we got coming up, the four months we have between now and uh, fall ball. One of the biggest things I'm gonna try and do is just prepare myself personally to be at my personal best when the time comes. Um, that's all I can really do is just do the best I can do. And if everyone on our team does that collectively, we have a group of guys who everybody's at their best. So we can only look for good things. You, you once played uh, linebacker, and of course now you're bringing that linebacker mentality to the fullback position. Talk about your style of play. Uh, you know what, I just try to keep up with the other guys. Zed Mendenhall's a real physical fullback as well. Um, but for myself, I, I really, I just like playing. I like being out there, running with the guys, and when you're it's almost like when you're defending your little brother, you know, that's what it's like when you're at fullback. Nothing against the tailbacks, but I mean, like, you, you got somebody back there that you don't want nobody touching them. So that's kind of my mentality when I'm down there is I, I want to block somebody. I don't know if I'm always going to get the right guy, but I'm going to try and get somebody. You want to preach the enforcer, the uh, bruiser, the, the, the bouncer. Get the bouncer in the backfield just clocking linebackers. That's, that's kind of the mentality you got to have though, to play that position. Try, man. It's, it's, it's a dirty job, but people got to do it. So. <laughs> Talk about spring camp overall and some of the things you learned from spring camp and just give your projection on how you feel the uh, you know, that offensive backfield is going to perform come fall camp. You know, like I said, we got a lot of good running backs, full backs, um, and also at every other position, I think we got a lot of experience now and we have a lot of talent. So I'm really excited for what the offense is going to do. Um, the more and more we're together and during our this upcoming spring, our summer and well, leading up to fall we got a lot of things that we've tried to set in place for the team where we meet as offense prps and just be a little bit more sound in our offensive play calling plays when we're leading in up until the fall overall good good uh, good spring production oh yeah I totally forgot. <laughs> spring has been really fun though for me personally i've actually really enjoyed it because it's just fun to be back out there man when you come from an injury and you've been out for a long time any action you can get is just fun. So being over here in spring, it's just been really fun for me. spring it's just been really fun for me um, even though I may have been limited in things something is better than nothing you want to picture the enforcer 